have a face cam since this is another 4x3 game and you guessed it what other 4 by 3 game aspect ratio games would I be playing other than either Toho or an RPG Maker game? Check, I need to. Your window capture will be good. Yep, that's very tiny. Make me bigger. Hmm. This kind of reminds me of Space Funeral for some reason. And that's because, just like Space Funeral, well, this game is much younger comparatively. But, uh, welcome to. Well, can't get any more straightforward than this. Uh, you guys remember Empty Soul? Uh, these are two, those, this, and this game and that share something in common. To me, at least in my memories. I couldn't finish them both, and I didn't really like them. And they were during my early teen years when I was still super into, super passionate, and super jealous of making games and publishing them and all that jazz. It's very petty, I, I won't go into it too much. Well, I don't mean the idiot game unless we... Let's just get into it. I don't remember... I, I checked my channel, but I couldn't find it, so I'm gonna assume I've never done a Let's Play of this, but I have played it. And like I said, I got stuck and stopped. Uh, so, let's see how I think of the game now that I'm gonna finish it, and I have a broader perspective on games. But uh, before I go any further into this video with the three minute mark marking the actual start of the game, sorry about that, hold on. Uh, this game is on Game Jolt, and it is absolutely free. So, if you have the means, you should definitely try playing this yourself. It will most hopefully definitely mean a lot to the creator of the game, because I'm pretty sure this was made by literally just one person. I don't remember much about the game, uh, but according to the description and from what I remember, the game has a very depressing and very edgy kind of story, but it's told in a rather not that well way, I think. And then as for the graphics, well... By the way, I am playing this in a tiny-ass screen, because this is an RPG Maker VX Ace game, and there's no way to change the resolution. It's either this resolution in windowed mode, or I go full screen and destroy my laptop in the process. I don't know why the font is like this. I'm not sure if I can do anything about it. You guys are just gonna have to deal with it. When I play this on my older computer, and that's the thing with some legacy games, like R RPG Maker Legacy games specifically. Anything made in VX Ace or below are usually... Uh, actually, VX. Probably because VX uses Ruby. And that's like a programming language no one uses anymore or something, I think. Like, what the frick even is Ruby? All I know is that that's used for RPG Maker VX and Ace. Anyway, here you lie alone. Wasting whatever time you have left. While you slumber, a great darkness has reawakened. Given the chance, it will consume this world and everything within. In time, Transec will be lost to the void. Transec? Transec? Who knows? But there may yet be time to escape your fate. 
Arise, Vega. Leave this place. Before the void consumes you. Uh huh. Yeah. So, uh, two things about the art style. One is that it's all over the place. It's rather inconsistent. Uh, uh, and two, it's very retro, very cheap. Not to say that the graphics are bad, this can evoke nostalgia and for how it emulates the Game Boy and the NES graphic style, it does a really good job of it. But like I said, it's inconsistent. Like, look at the tiles, they're a, uh, they're of a lower pixel rate. The uh, face sprites as well are also. There's also the font of RPG Maker, but I don't think there's much, there's not much that can be done with that. And then there's this chest and everything else, which are on a different pixel resolution style of art. But barring that, like I said, this is a very acceptable art style. Not fond, I, I don't have any nostalgia for this graphic style. But you know, I'm not gonna let that get in the way of fun. Plus, the main character's a girl. That's right up my alley these days, apparently, as it turns out. Oh, my head. These dreams are getting worse. Items. Default. Why is Veda so angry looking? What did the what did the menu screen do to you? I have nothing. Wow, I'm already pretty good. Stat wise, well, at least in terms of attack and agility. Look, I wonder if that's gonna do anything. Proud warrior who wears her name proud. Veta would do anything to protect her home. Ah, here we go. Ah, I can change the window color. We'll stick with black. I have to make sure. Game is also pretty quiet at times. Oh, auto dash is on by default. Let me turn that off because I just don't dig it. And the small last screen reminds me of the Toho Five Nights at Fuckboys game I played. I can say that now without getting demonetized, right? That I also never finished. Well, I technically finished it, but uh, the bonus content just wasn't. Text, battle animations. <laughs> it really is like Pokemon. Shouldn't that save you? Yeah. Save anywhere, anytime. That's lovely. A lot of RPG Maker developers like to turn off being able to save anywhere. But like, honestly, every RPG you should just be able to save anywhere. Can't believe the last RPG I remember playing from a triple A developer where you can save anywhere is fucking Zelda. It's a picture of you. No, it's not. That's a blank canvas, but alright. <laughs> I know, be prime manual. Okay. Wow, okay, even dashing is actually pretty slow. It's a book here there's a book here called The Guardian. Would you like to read it? Lore. Eons ago, the world as we knew it was believed to have been only a blank slate. An empty canvas for aspiring architects to mold and reshape. And as centuries passed, two ancient deities eventually took notice of the barren dimension and forged it into a world they could call home. These two were known as Luminax and Lightbringer and Son of Ox the Songweaver, the esteemed guardians of the world of Transac. Cool. The two main deities of the world, apparently. Alright, let's see that prime manual. Strange little book. If you're reading this, you're probably feeling a bit worn out. That's understandable, considering you're such a deep sleeper. Still, it wouldn't be fair to leave you in the dark. Your name is Beta. You are the defender of your home, Finima Village. Your movement keys. It's a little too late to be doing these now. Also, WASD Watt, who plays RPG Maker games like that. Additional keys are escape. Shift. Control. The default is always... The dash is on by default, so that should be saying the opposite. CERL. 
We should skip any unnecessary chatter from Transac or megalomaniacal individuals. Hold CTRL and space together. That's gonna be useful. Speed, 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 speed for speed running. Finally, you should be aware that there isn't any form of autosave. You should save whenever you can. That's all. That's a really poorly thought out tutorial, I'd like to say. Because by the time they read it, they already know a lot about the controls already. Making everything, almost everything here, kind of redundant. Because you force us to wake up and we should, we should just naturally learn the controls because there's no way to move forward with the game unless we fiddle around with the keyboard and eventually learn it. I can't move with WASD. Okay, so... And for now, these are just nitpicks. Chapter 1. Oh, that's actually. Oh my god, you look like. Freaking Jack the Serial Killer, what was his name? I don't trust her. Hi, Vida. How are you? I can't help but imagine the face. Oh my god, my canon voice for her now, whoever this character is, she's Spongebob. She has the exact same voice. I felt better. Oh, what's up? Don't worry, it's nothing. You need to worry about- uh, Don't worry, it's nothing you need to worry about. Cariella? Sariella? Sariella? It'll pass soon, I'm sure. Huh? Oh. Anyway, my dad wanted you to know the chieftain's looking for you and that you should go to the village hall. He says it's important. Thanks, Cario. I'll go see him now. What's up? Aren't you forgetting something? What, do you want a kiss and a hug goodbye? Am I? What am I? How am I even relating to you? Yesterday, you said after you were done with work, you'd come over to my house and... Play with me. Uh, so. Well, how, what's the age gap? But you never came. I mean, how could I? We're both women. I'm sorry. Even I thought that was in poor taste. And you're not going to play with me today again, are you? You're just gonna see your dad and go back home. Ariella, listen. I'm the Chieftain's daughter and Vinima Village's protector. I don't have time to play games with you. Oh, okay. You know that. Oh. You can be nicer about it, at least. Oh, fine. Be that way. Meanie. There she goes. Is it something I said? Yes. Try everything you said just now in that conversation. That was very rude and inconsiderate. And it appears that you have a history of that with Cariella. At the very least, uh, something, I could, something else I could say about the graphics. Do we have money? No, we don't. It's just called gold here, apparently. Hills Residence. Should I, should I bother exploring and talking to everyone? I'm pretty sure this place is gonna get burned down. I don't actually remember if this place gets burned down, but I just have a... I, I'm hard calling it. <laughs> and we'll never go back here ever again. Anyway, as I was saying about the graphics, at least it isn't the default RTP, even though the, the game does require the RTP to be able to, to play. Which is weird. I assume there, there's going to be some relevant bits later. But for now, that is another good thing. That is another that is one thing to praise. You know, went into all the effort into making all of these sprites when they could have just done what every other lazy RPG maker developer would and just used the RTP, the default assets. It's amazing how big the Finimum Wilds are. Okay. 
someday I'm going to pack my things and make a life out there for myself. What do you think? I think I don't care. Well, the Thompsons don't seem to mind living there, but I'm not sure how they deal with the wildlife. Wildlife? Is it dangerous out there? Yeah, random encounters. I see. Arson. Are they arsonists? That's my home. Alright, let's talk with everyone outside first. Isn't life just wonderful? For now, we are with all two Luminax and Sunnerbox, our benevolent guardians. May the divine laws protect us all. Are you okay, Isaac? Since when did you become. I'm feeling fantastic, Veda! What do you ask? No reason. The outside world of Transac is so beautiful. I wish I could stay here forever. I'm not sure the outside world is all that it's cracked up to be. Have you actually left the village, Craig? No. What does that have to do with anything? I'm just saying you'd be very surprised if he said put out in the work in the Finima into the Finima wilds. I don't care if the outside world is as dangerous as you say. I still think it's as beautiful as the morning sun. Alright, yeah, they do have different dialogue. Dang it. I get the feeling there's something you're not telling me. There's something you are not telling us. Move along. I've been stationed here to keep watch. Some days I ask myself why this village even needs guards. Wouldn't we be better off defending the larger settlements? Finema Village isn't in good standing with the other settlements right now. We need all the protection we can get. But oh, why? Chieftain Tanark is not a very pleasant person to work with at times. I still wish this job was more interesting. I'm getting bored with all this standing around. Not sure if it's true, but I've heard rumors that things are going well in New Lumenia. I hope I oh well. Hopefully whatever's plaguing the capital won't affect us here. Nothing will get past you. You flatter me, Sean. I don't think I can compare to the guards there. They do protect Luminax after all. Nonsense, you're the strongest fighter I know. Yeah, keyword you. Keyword here I. I'm sure what, that whatever happens, you'll always be there to protect us. What are you even worrying about? Really? Doing that, McLaughlin? I used to live in the city of Basilia until I took an arrow to the knee. God, there's so much. D-man? Is that what we're called? At least you have a bedroom, but no bathroom. Alright, I don't care about any of these. If you want- if you- if you think this is interesting, then go play the game yourself. That's an incentive, I guess. What's up with the guards? If they're way too playful or way too straightforward. Good afternoon, Veda. Is that a guy or a girl? Are you here to see the chieftain? Yes, I am. Okay. Just make your way to the end of the room and go upstairs and get your way go. Hey, you to see Tanark? Yeah, he's having a good me. Ah. Whatever. I love coming here in the afternoon. 
It's always something new and exciting to talk about. And how the villagers here were brutally attacked by an unknown enemy. Harbinger Veda. Sorry, I didn't see you come in. That's alright, soldier. I'm known to be quite stealthy. Remember? You are. That can serve. You've been getting reports that there's been some disturbance in sound in the capital cities. I assure you that no harm will come to Finema and its people. Besides, we also have you and the Chieftain Veda. Well, I haven't picked up a blade in a while, but I'll do my best to help protect Finema. Okay, and then they default to that. How boring. I wish they'd just repeat, repeat the same dialogue instead. That's something I liked about Ekron Odyssey. I mean, forgive me for comparing a game made by professional, uh, a professional team of developers against this guy who, and this is probably like their first game and stuff, and it's just a passion project, and it's, it's, it's hardly a fair comparison, but Etrian Odyssey starts off very quickly. There's no need for all of this blam 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 blam. It's just a few bits of dialogue, and then you're off to making characters, and as soon as you do that, you can go straight to the dungeon immediately. Uh, I mean, you gotta go to the Senatus first, or the Adventurers Guild, or, or whatever, the Radha Hall, whatever it's called in whatever other Etrian Odyssey game. But it gets you straight into the action. And that's very important in any game, I think. Final Fantasy, the first game at least, puts you straight into the overworld where you can choose to go to the castle, which is obviously the right choice. Because other, or, or you can start walking around everywhere else. It's... Uh, Breath of the Wild does a very similar thing to what Final Fantasy 1 does. It uses its open world in order to give you the sense that the game is open, but at the same time, uses it to funnel you into a path that they want. Uh, namely, in the form of difficulty. If you don't go to the castle first, you're gonna get attacked by goblins and you're likely going to die, because unless you have a party of all monks, your naked-ass self is going to get beaten up, even by goblins. <laughs> and, uh, Breath of the Wild is pretty similar. The farther out you go, the more dangerous enemies you'll encounter. Uh, so your best bet is to stay around the Great Plateau and would, wouldn't you know Kakariko Village, your first destination, just so happens to be the closest place you can be. Tears of the Kingdom's kind of suffering from an opposite problem though where there's too much to do so it's actually way too easy to get sidetracked and have a hard time because of it, I think. Welcome beta. Or dad, I've been expecting you. Wanted me? You want to see me, chieftain? Come now, there's no need for formalities, Beta. After all, we're the only ones here. All right. What is it that you need of me, father? What you ask? I've been getting reports from the guards that some of the villagers were attacked outside the village by an unknown foe. Strangely enough, none of the victims or guards could give me a definite answer on what the assailant looked like. Maybe it was just a pack of hungry jackalites. It'd be hard to see them in the dead of the night. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Either way, I want you to go out into the Finema wilds and investigate the matter directly. It's nice to have assumptions, but it's better to be sure, Beta. Talk to the lieutenant at the barracks. I'll make the arrangements for getting you on your way. Of course, father. Beta, wait. Almost forgot. I have something for you that'll help you out in the Finema Wilds. Money, weapons, both. Both would be nice. Here you are. Okay. Take a 
step back and try it on. What is this thing? This is the spirit of solitude. Great. It's my stand power now, I think. It's great bound to the ring you now possess. It'll help keep you safe out in the Venema wilds. Right. The compa you don't actually get any companions in this game. You just get these spirits. And they're really lame, I think. <laughs> You'll see. Looks so sad. Ignore it, Vita. Ring spirits can be very deceptive. Remember, this alone is a tool to be used, not a companion. And that's the worst part about them. Pull it back into your ring. Alright. This alone returns. Just loon by your side, you won't have to worry about any unpleasant surprises in the future. Thank you, Father. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Take care, Beta. May the guardians protect you. Beta, what are you doing? Put that down. What? Well, I'm just. No! It's okay, sorry. Jeez, there's no need for such a violent reaction. This place isn't exactly the kindest. A lot of boring characters that really don't give you any reason to feel about them other than... I don't know, they just seem kind of hateable. Even Veda's kind of hateable, which is... Is, is that really the entire character of the guards? Even Genshin Impact's guards have more character than this. Hello, Veda. What can I do with you for? Father said that you'd be able to help me out with investigating the attacks on the villagers. And yes, that does involve going out into the Finima Wild, which I can't get to right now. Ah yes, he mentioned that before you arrived. I do have a set of armor and weapon in that chest over there. He'd like to keep you out of harm's way. Before that, I need you to do something for me quick. Are you willing to help? Sure, what's up? Well, I need to make sure the victims involved are alright, mainly because I'm worried there may be future problems. Like what? Like the mysterious wounds that appeared on their bodies, the victims' injuries were sharp and deep. And from my experience, none of the native creatures in the walls are capable of dishing out that kind of damage. I get the feeling that we're dealing with something dangerous here. Just want to make sure the victims are safe and sound. I mean, this isn't as slow as Twilight Princess, but considering how much lower fidelity it is, it, it may as well be as slow of a start. I want a snack. I know, I have nothing but complaints so far. It is a duty of a Let's Player to talk and keep their viewers entertained. And this is my only idea. Uh, one thing I will say though, the game is very quiet right now, but you'll see. I actually really quite like the OSD of the game. Might not agree with me on that. That might be the one thing you guys might not agree with me on, potentially, because, I don't know, I think it would be a general consensus to say that the game is, at the very least, passable. For the victims. Let's see. If you have guards, they should still be out on patrol. Then there's Sean, Marshall, Craig, Anderson, and Sam Hills. Finally, there's David Kean and his daughter Cariella. Yeah, this this town's going to shit. Cariella, she was that too. What's that here? I'm surprised David didn't tell you. Why the fuck? If she was attacked and there's all this thing about wounds, how the hell is Cariella just looking so fine and dandy? Anyone else? Well, it's Frederick. But as you already know, he and his wife live out in the Finimal Wilds. I'll make sure to check up on them when I'm not there. Thank you. Come back to me after you're done. 
Can I take the dark? See, they were gonna force me to talk to everyone anyway, huh? Come on, Vita, you know, you know you have something to do before you can go out. Are they one of the people? Good to see you again, Vita. Is there something you need? Actually, there is, Miss Marshall. I'm investigating the recent attacks on the villagers and want to ask about you. It's about John, isn't it? Well, you must know, he hasn't been feeling well after the attack. He's been limping from time to time and coughing in the middle of the night. I tried asking him what's wrong, but he just stares at me. I really don't know what to do anymore. I suppose the only thing you can do is wait. Let me know when he gets better, alright? Mm -hmm. Kind of surnames that. Abnormal mood swings? Yeah, I was talking with Greg Anderson the other day about it, and all of a sudden we just stopped talking. After a few seconds, he regained his senses and pretended like nothing happened. What the strangest thing. I may as well read all the lore. I'm not gonna read them out loud. I didn't get a good look at the attacker, but I can certainly say it packed a mean punch. How so? Whatever it was, it tore a hole right through my shirt and sliced my arm. Which really hurt, by the way. First, I thought it was just a hungry jackalike. Then, bit bit bit. That actually scared me. Nothing, don't worry. Hey, can we talk for another time? I'm starting to be a little worn out all of a sudden. Sure. Okay. No. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, proving my point here. <laughs> There's no one likable. If you set up this beginning town with the intent of making it tragic to leave, at least make everyone here likable. Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker. Okay, mostly Zelda games I'm using as an example here, but no, yeah, yeah. gets the point. I get the point done, right? And buy. Hmm. HP and MP are both valued at the same. And it seems they value them at one. One MP per gold and two HP per gold. Wow, resurrecting is expensive. Not increase and decrease encounter rate. So it is just random encounters. Others. 
invasive. You mean evasive. I don't even think invasive is a real word. I'll have to look it up later. Apologetic. Huh, you can increase luck. That's a lot of items on sale all at once in the big right at the beginning. Goodbye. Bagu. Tenants asked me to check up on everyone who was involved in the attacks. How are you feeling? I don't feel much better, but the scratch on my back still hurts from time to time. Did you see what attacked you? No, I had my back turned when it happened. I wish there was more I could tell you, but that's all I remember. I see. Well, don't run into any more trouble, Sam. It'd be a real shame to see Bagu alone without his big brother to protect him. Yeah. Well, I'll talk to you later, alright? A wise decision. Of course, both the gods are male. Ariella. Sort of. I'm actually here to see you as well. I from the lieutenant that most of you were attacked in the Finnaho Wilds. They should be the last two people you need to talk to. He did, did he? Well, what did you want to know? I wanted to see if there was anything you could tell me about Beta, as much as I'd love to help you. I don't think any of us want to remember that horrible situation. Especially him. Who? It's nothing. Could you come back another time, Beta? My family and I need a little rest. Okay, whatever you need. Ariel, are you alright? I heard about what happened to you and your father. I came to see if you were... Look, I'm really sorry I broke my promise. But I'm the chieftain's daughter, I can't... Spend some time with me? Yeah, I know. I'm just not as important to you as the village, am I? Exactly, that's what- Exactly. 
That's all you have to say? Don't you feel bad about what you did? Oh, I didn't mean it like that, it's just that you're playing gay sticks. There's my answer. I thought we were friends, Vega. Cariella, I didn't... Go away, Vega. Cariella, please... Jesus Christ. I'm off. Hey, are you alright? What's going on upstairs? Nothing. Wait, missus? That's actually just about to head back and report my findings to the lieutenant. Wrapping up this case, you know? Ah, oh, you're back. How are the victims holding up? A little days from time to time, but aside from that, nothing else. They seem to be holding up alright. It's wonderful. Thank you so much for the help, Beta. It means a lot to me and your father. Honestly, I think my father would have been happier if I, you just sent me into the Finima Wilds. And yeah, don't send me out to do your own work. I suppose it's time to let you go and do your own thing, but... Creatures out there are known to be dangerous and if confronted, so maybe you should hone your skills first. But I'm the village's guardian. What do you say? Fine. Before we get started, I have to quickly go over a few things. One to three. How damage you dealt. There's no defend after Punch. So that's a little I was punching you. Here you go. You might also want to have this. This will get you past the guard for that new village entrance. It's not as if they'll disobey orders. Thank you again, Lieutenant. It's my pleasure. Take care of yourself out there, Veda. Give me blood. I guess I should give everything to Veda. I'm not sure if this does a persona thing where if Veda dies, everyone else does as well. Lisa's agility, why? Oh god, the name goes over. And it goes back up. I can probably just optimize, yeah. I should save. Alright, finally, we can go outside. Only took us nearly 30 minutes. There they go, wow. They sure ran away quick. What's this? Cool. I guess those aren't in high demand. A lost spirit. Eh? 
connected. Yeah. Why would the first novel encounter be able to do something like this? Stop it. Oh my god, they have so much health too. Game's a lot more quieter than I remember. I don't think quieter is a word. Not even a fanfare. Yeah. My magic potions. Ah, here they are. Who are you? What are you doing in my house? Sorry, I don't mean any harm, man. My name is Vea, and I'm here because of one of the recent attacks of Venomo. Oh, so you're the chieftain's daughter, then? That's correct. Okay, in that case, I take it you want to know more about what happened to my husband, Frederick? If it's not too much trouble, yes. Alright. It all happened so fast. Up in the field, grabbing some herbs. I stopped right away flying on the ground. I had to decide to see if he was alright, but feared the worst. Once I saw the wound strewn across his body, he was alive, but only barely. First, I thought he'd been attacked by hungry jackalites, but. What? His wounds, they were deeper than anything I've ever seen before. Only that way he started. He started coughing out some kind of black goo. I was scared, so I just laid him down on the rip on the bed over there. River bed. Why did you go to Finnamo Village and ask for help? I'm scared, young lady. I didn't want to leave Frederick's side in case his condition got worse. I see. Well, when you get the chance, go talk to my father, the chieftain, and tell him your story. I'm sure he'll be able to help. No, he won't. Well, thank you, miss. I appreciate your generosity. Come see me, if there's anything else you would like to know. Jackalites. Real dogs. They're evolving? Or adapting, rather. A wish with an H. Alright. Something about the combat system is that it's very slow. Damage numbers are, are also very low, so the game isn't all that difficult either. More so in the start, I suppose. Not sure how mid game or end game will look like. Or post game if there is one. I really like this battle song. Not the fan is an ability we have to learn first. chance so it can fail. Interesting. Oh, cool. Useful. I'm getting money, right? Just can't go there. Hey, there they are!
that's only one place to go. I guess we have the white tiles represent areas you step on to move to a new area. Which I suppose counts for something. Single jacket! The light. Cool! All before me. 50 health or so. Sure, thank you. Maybe I should have saved somewhere else. Whatever, I'll be fine. What's that? Oh no. He's dead. I hate those wounds. Who's there? What? What is that thing? A jack alive. Ooh, on everyone. Attack boost. Let's try to paralyze. No, why would you do that? It would be for not. God, it barely deals. It. I barely deal damage. <laughs> Shit. Dude. And that, that hurt a bit. Alright, that's that. Oh! We're fine, we're fine. I'm so used to the high damage numbers enemies can deal in Action Odyssey. Swap down in my magic potion. Guess the regeneration lasts five turns. It's pretty plenty. I admit. Jeez, this is taking a while. I'll give it that one. What's with that jackalite? Even the alpha males don't grow to that size. And that's the formalities. Was it diseased? It must have been the one responsible for the attacks on the villagers. At least it's gone now. If there were others like it. But if this black goo could turn other jackalites into monsters like that. I have to go back. My father needs to hear about this. I better take this guard's necklace back with me. The lieutenant will know what to do with it. I'll send someone back for you. This dark and lonely place should not be your grave. It's dead. Ooh. That would have been useful to have. Don't do that. Health potion. Oh, 
Oh, cool, I can use it out of that. Yep, there's something I want to check, but I forgot. Finish the formation. Uh, I guess I can save. What the? Where did the storm come from? This guy. Something is wrong here. No, it's not. It's just rain. What? Another one. Yeah, there you go. I'd like to see it. Aren't as difficult as the other jackalite, I guess. I know it's a trope for bosses to eventually turn into just normal re encounters, but it, it happened a little too fast, don't you think? Can you still this time? Patrick? Can you hear it, my love? He's calling us. Who, Frederick? Not making any sense. We cannot escape our destiny. Come, Celsia. No, stay back. Let us return home together. No. Farewell, my love. We're just gonna Harbinger. Okay. We could have attacked him way sooner, I'd say. <laughs> I wonder if Quark Fry can stack. But for now, one stack should be enough. a little bit of something we like to call diminishing returns when it comes to applying buffs and debuffs. You are too late. I can see that. Your fate is sealed. Celsia, I'm sorry. Back too much. And eventually, oh, all right, the guards are gone, but hey, See you again. I'm sorry, but do I know you? Why, Veda, I'm hurt. Out of all the people in Finnema Village, I seem to be the only one that you forgot. I'm the owner of the Finnema Emporium, remember? The shop. So, but why are you here? Shouldn't you be back in, you know, the Emporium? Yeah, but things have become rather complicated. Complicated? 
Well, after you left, some of the villagers began acting strange. They started ranting about shadows and eventually turned on us and attacked. What? I barely got out of there alive. In fact, I would have gone to Seoul at the town instead, but the road's been blocked off. Oh, stay here, Dad. I'm going to go and see my father. I don't know what's going on. Hey, wait, before you go, Jimmy and Jack shouldn't take a look at my wares. Okay. Weird. So, I okay. Apparently, it's left, right, right. Whatever. I don't need. I'll buy one magic potion. That's way more useful. Fine. Four. Or it will hopefully be useful. Boy, I sure hope there aren't any random encounters here. There's loot now, though. This is horrible. Alright, stay calm. That's not the time to be mourning for the lost. I need to see my father immediately. So let's start by moving. If he'll move on his own. Yep. Beta. He calls for you. Join us! No, why would you do this to us, Dan? How convenient that Destiny learns an attack that's effective against these creatures that we don't know anything of yet. Wow, you're tanky. Ah, oh, cool. So I didn't waste my attack buff. It was just a joke. What? Did we kill and fight it? Did we fight for no reason there? Was he actually just joking? I have a feeling I can be- yep. Hello. Serve my ass. So, uh, it's a zombie apocalypse. Darn did, but he did.
Oh, this one. Dela. Oh. What the fuck? She yeah. Yeah, on that. Well, we'll do the seal. Hopefully. That one's probably likely a special attack scaler. Stay back, you monster! I'm not me! You know, everyone else has normal eyes, but Vega's all blacked out. I thought you got killed out in the Phenom of Wild, or worse. Thank goodness you didn't turn into one of those monsters. What's going on here? It all happened so fast. I was out of control when it happened. Music villagers eventually returned, but when they did, they ruthlessly attacked anyone they saw. I watched them tear my friend into pieces. Thankfully, we acted quickly and gathered the survivors here. We are the last bastion of hope near the village. We are there are still others missing. Ariella and the chieftain have not returned. My father, where is he? Of course you prioritize your dad over your... best friend? We fear he's trapped inside the village hall. We want to help, but the monsters have us pinned. Fortunately, the lieutenant is still here with us. If anyone can help you, it's him. You alright, Miss Marshall? Yikes. Thank goodness you're safe, I... I think you've already seen what has happened here, then. It all started after you left. Still, I am a little surprised. I would have thought the corrupt... Lieutenant? It's nothing, don't worry. I was just worrying to myself. For now, we need to focus on the task at hand. What can you find out in the Finnable Wilds? I have one jackal at under the woods. This one was different from the rest. Different? was carrying some kind of magical disease. I think the Jackalite was the one responsible for the attacks. The villagers who were attacked became those monsters. That's not good. What do you suggest we do? We need to find your father. He's the only one I know who may hold any knowledge of stopping this plague. But where is he? Should still be somewhere inside the village hall. I tried to rescue him, but those monsters are blocking the way. I'm not strong enough to fight them all myself, but maybe you can. After all, you have a sword and desolate. 
can I at least have a little help? Well, I assume you're exhausted from all the work you've done, so let me take care of your injuries. Good enough. I love how quick saving is in this game. I'm lost. Oh, let me let me show you the way. Jeez. That still didn't kill. Don't tell me. Fierce damage is calculated as twice the attacking value minus the defender's defense. I hope it wasn't talking about. No, I can't be shooting the worst. You're in the way. Could this possibly be our fault? Oh yeah, that. I recognize this. Long one of our new sweet recruits. Sam Samuel, I think his name was. So I take it this already. Hmm. Oh, thank you for letting me know of Samuel's fate, Beta. Please take this with you. Good luck out there, Beta. I think I can... Alright. Something. I think that's the loon's auto attack. Just kills off of his attack though. Perfect, we don't know. That's why she barely deals any damage. It's much safer to call someone a she. Although that's still assuming gender, so. Father! Beta? What are you doing here? I come to rescue you, I- Beta, get out of here! It's not safe! Father, I've already taken care of those monsters. There's nothing stopping us from reaching the barracks. No, you don't understand. I've been keeping her in grave, but if she finds out that you're here... Oh. So, you finally came out to play. And happy. So very happy. I know what you're going to say. But you're too busy to play with me. Ariella? Is that you? Yes, Beta, it is! 
All I wanted was for you to play with me, but instead you turned me into pets. Oh, God. I had nothing to do with this. Yeah, sure. That's what they all say. He tells me otherwise. He tells me all about your little secrets. In fact, he tells me that you have a new friend, a little spirit called Desalune. Desalune is a... Save it. I don't want your excuses. I can't play with you, Veda. No, I can't! I will destroy you! Time to go through the motions. Severance twice. Wait, what? Here attacks are useless. Muda, 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 muda. I'm losing MP. At a rate of one per turn. Is that a side effect of regen? If it is, that really sucks. I hate you! Why can't you just die? See, now that we're out of the region. Ow. I'm still losing it. The boss, but the boss is just doing it passively, it seems. Why not? Gosh, the white background's kind of hard to get in the eyes. He will consume you! He will consume us all! What the frick are you going on about? Kind of MP. Oh, nice. No, oh, can't see the animation of the falling down slowly thing because the white background. Chart of swiftness. I'm sorry, Cariella. Stubborn child, even to the end. Father, how could you say that? Sh she was just being controlled by the disease plaguing the villagers. She wasn't thinking straight. No. She brought this upon herself. Cariella succumbed to her desires, and because of that, the darkness fed off her and took control. Darkness? What are you talking about? Something you're not telling me. Beta, what you've seen here is no plague. Ever since the creation of this world, there's always been a dark force, creeping its way into the heart of the transect. And as the years pass, this force manifests itself in the form of a black, viscous liquid. This liquid is called corruption. Corruption? I haven't I heard about this until now? Because I never wanted you to see the chaos and destruction that corruption brings. 
the lives it can destroy. So what it is? So what is it, I mean, rather? Eh? Or, the text says it is, though, no, so it's not my problem. You know, you know what I mean. Who knows? Some claim it's an ailment that's been around ever since transexcration. Others claim it's a weapon used by ancient Neman Magi in the Guardian Wars. But what we do know is that corruption is a transformative force. It consumes its victims and changes them into monsters. Not only that, the effects can vary dramatically depending on the emotional state of its victims. The more passionate their desires, the more pronounced their transformations become. That's why the villagers only displayed minor changes, while Cariella appeared as a giant monster. So long as corruption exists, nobody in Transac is safe. So how do we stop it? We can't. What? Surely there must be- No. Corruption cannot be destroyed. Many have tried in the past. Have always ended up succumbing to the phenomena themselves. This melts. But it can be contained. Now, there are sorcerers out there who have mastered the art of suppressing corruption. And fortunately for us, I know of one such individual, an old friend of mine known as Vivitek. If anyone can help us, be him. I take it you want me to see him then? Yes. I want you to head west into Solanatau and find Vivisek. Tell him I sent you, and that corruption has returned. Father, what can in my village? I must stay here and protect the people. Well, what's left of them anyway? How can you talk like that? The Finima Guard will handle the protection of Finima Village, Beta. You need not worry. Finima Guard? Oh, that's got him far more experienced than those idiots. They couldn't even- Beta. Alright. I understand. I'll just fall in the town. First thing tomorrow. Good. The sooner we act, the sooner Finima Village can be saved. Get some rest, Beta. You have a long day ahead of you. Chapter 2. Park. Yeah, I, I have several problems. <laughs> I guess they were trying to write Cariella as a jerk. You know, one of those stubborn, spoiled brat thing. I forgot there's a more fitting word for it. But it really did come off that way. If anything, it, uh, Veda is being portrayed, be it intentionally or not, as someone haughty and overconfident, as well as kind of dense, and just overall hateable. Anyway, that's, that's enough for now. Did I save or did I save again? I'm gonna be continuing this, don't you worry. So far, not liking the game. <laughs> 